Now then, in this, in this video, we're going to cover some of the editing of your Camtasia projects. Now then, first off, we need something to edit. So let's go over here to Import Media, click on that, and this pops up, and we want to navigate to the folder that contains the file or image that you want to edit. So that's what I'm going to be working on here. Click Open. Now it's in the clip bin. We need it down here in the timeline for us to do any work on it. So we can do this a couple of ways. You can right click, then left click on timeline and it'll pop it in down here. Or you can just hold your left mouse button down and then drag it on down. Now then it's in the timeline where we can do our work. Now we've got some functions right up here that will help us uh, do some chopping and you know enhancing or um, deleting. So what we want to do now, I know, because I've already listened to this, that I've got some dead air time right here at the very beginning. Actually, I think it's right around 2.4 seconds or something. And right here is the play clock. This tells you how long the actual video is currently. And this tells you where in the video you're, you're, you're at currently. You can see I'm at the very beginning. So let's go ahead and play this through. Right about there. I start talking, so I'll back it up just a hair. Okay, now that I've got it paused, you can see I'm pausing right at 2 seconds, 2.43 seconds, and our marker's right here, and if you can see the numbers right there, eh, it says 2.35, but that's close enough. Right up here in the formatting bar, that's what I'm calling it anyway, um, this is the function I'm looking for, split. So we can split, and I click on that, and we've just now split our video into two sections, a real dinky one here, then the rest of it. Now I want to get rid of this dinky part here and if you hold your mouse over that section you can see the time here, the length, you got the setup underscore screen dot avi then the length and so on. Over here you can see how it changes to 2 minutes 58 seconds. Over here we're at 2.40 seconds. Now then you can do this a couple of ways. Make sure that that part's highlighted. Right click, remove from timeline or you can just make sure it's highlighted and then hit the delete key. But we're doing it this route. Now then, I chop some of the fat off of this. Now, of course, I could go through and play the whole thing. But that'd be pretty boring for you because, well, you know, you don't need to hear the whole thing. So we've that's how we can chop some of the fat off of the beginning, the end, or if you've got an hour-long video, heaven forbid, you can chop it into sections by playing it up to a point that would sound good to put a pause in it and hit your split key, and then that's your first video. Uh, play it some more, hit your split key, that's your second video, and so on. You get the idea. Now then, let's do some, uh, oh, what are we going to do now? Let's add a title clip. You click on that, and I took the liberty of adding this already, and it's basically, you can, you, oh yeah, you can import an image too in place of typing your own title clips here, but I chose this font, one of my faves, and this size, and this is the color of your text as such, and you've got some other formatting options here you can play with as well. Where you can bold it, just highlight it, and click on the B button there. Of course, with the Simpson font, you really can't tell that it's bolded too much, but anywho, that's that. Now then, there's no save button up here. You just click on the OK. Now, if you need any help with any of these uh, features, in this case, title clips, click on the Assist Me or the Show Me. Uh, here you got uh, a video from TechSmith that'll walk you through the whole process. Pretty cool stuff. But hey, you don't need that. You got me. Now let me click OK, and we have our title clip here. Now, like getting this guy down here, same thing here. Now, if you hit the uh, right click and add a timeline, it's going to shoot it to the end of the video. But and that's a good place for it. But we want one at the beginning of the video too. So here you hold your left mouse button down, drag it on down here. Boom! It sets it in the, in, at the beginning. Now then, right click, add a timeline, boom, shoots it to the end. Now then, this is a good spot where you can put your web address, you know, hey, come visit me, hey, come buy one of my products, and so on. Now then, you can uh, increase your uh, viewing time of your title clips, especially the end part where you want your people to, to your, your viewers to watch your video that much longer so they can write down your web address. Well, you can right click on that once it's highlighted, got to highlight it first. Then you go to Title Duration, click on that, and the default is 5 seconds. Increase that to 20 seconds, 10 seconds, you know, 12 seconds, whatever you want. And now then you can see that they're going to be hanging around, ideally, for another 7 seconds. 
you know, that way it gives them plenty of time to write down the stuff. Whereas at five seconds, you know, they may just go, oh, wait, hey, there's their web address. Honey, grab me a pen and paper. And by then, it's over and done with, and they got to replay the whole thing. Well, they may not want to replay the whole thing at that point. So give them an extra little bit of time, especially at the end. Or if you want to do any voiceovers on your beginning or ending title clips, right-click, title duration, add as much time as you need. There you go. Now then, in the next video, we're going to cover a couple more of these uh, editing features here. So hang around. We've got plenty more for you.